and just click it twice. As you can see, this process actually really helps us in terms of processing time. Prior to this, it really took on average 25 days. Now, when I say that's 25 days, that's assuming absolutely nothing goes wrong and this bill is perfect. Even then, it would take an average 25 days. Take that same time with Hancock, the average processing time is about 48 hours. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay. As alluded to with Doug and, and Mary's uh, presentation, uh, Hancock also gives us a great ability to monitor and control uh, our payment, our payment system. Next slide. Next slide. Um, as Doug alluded to earlier, in terms of uh, in enforcing the Davis-Bacon, Hancock allows us to see which uh, organizations either have not entered uh, the Davis-Bacon uh, information or if the, uh, the wages entered were non-compliant. Let's see on the way it's pointing there. If the fiscal agent or the administrative agent sees this as missing wages, these bills are not paid, and the, uh, the, the local weatherization agency actually call, or is notified, excuse me, of the missing, uh, they are not compliant of their prevailing wage, and they need to correct this, or this particular invoice will not be paid. Next slide, please. Due to the fact that this is now a universal system, we're easily able to uh, monitor and view uh, if there are any um, measures that are non-compliant, and we are able to control uh, restrict the measures. For example, uh, the, um, the state uh, can actually put restrictions on what can be built to a program. For example, if there's a measure in, say, health and safety that we do not bill, um, then we have the ability to kind of control what they can enter. If not, it gives us an easier monitoring tool to show, you know, what particular uh, measures cannot be built. Next slide. Hancock also allows us uh, a better monitoring tool in terms of uh, adhering to the various funding streams. Uh, for example, uh, with our I suppose, um, there's a restriction of we cannot build furnaces to our dollars. Uh, Hancock within the system will allow us to restrict our dollars to what measures can be can and can't be built. Next slide, please. And in terms of uh, fiscal reporting, I think Doug showed you a few of um, the um, fiscal monitoring programs. I want to show two, two of which that uh, the administrative offices actually use. Uh, the first uh, is known as a paid invoice report. These, these, this report actually generates from a, a one time period to another exactly the, the exact job that we actually paid. And when I say we actually pay it, as in what the state has actually processed. Um, as you know, as I said earlier, there's different fiscal languages, and with the cruel system, as we as we may know, um, bills are actually considered revenue or expenditures when not when they actually occur, but when the transaction is agreed upon. Now, as you know, you have three different uh, systems, and on one system you'll have a budget balance that is different from the state or different from the um, the subcontractor. Here, the, we can uh, let them know exactly this is what we see as actually processed and paid, and this is particularly what you have actually spent according to what we have processed. Um, so this is also a helpful tool in terms of people saying that our uh, um, local weatherization uh, agencies specifically saying that they put a job into us to be paid on this particular date or this particular month. This gives us the ability to see exactly a lot faster than the paper route uh, what actually jobs were paid, and especially during what month. Next slide. Uh, I'm going to go to the job process report. Okay. This particular uh, 
took to the screen specifically shows uh, the process of jobs um, by agency or by county. Um, we have some some in um, our, our system. We have some agencies that handle multiple counties. Uh, this particular uh, report will show um, the progress of the various agencies as well as counties. And this is important for us because it sees what jobs are in process. Um, if for whatever reason there is a lag in terms of production, um, we are able to view exactly what's uh, being processed or what should we should expect. Uh, from there, I'm going to hand this back over to, to Bill uh, for closing remarks. 